Hello, my air signs, brothers and sisters, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Hello, how are you? And happy birthday to the Geminis out there. I hope you will celebrate it, especially a dear friend of mine who watches this video, who is a Gemini. Hey, W. <laughs> happy birthday to you. <laughs> so, uh, I hope you got a kick out of that. <laughs> Uh, so I had already uh, pre-shuffled the cards. They're already here. I called upon God, the Ascendant Masters, the Angels, and Archangels to be with me because of Law of Attraction and Power of Attention. It's really kind of hard getting the wrong cards. Okay. <laughs> and this is your reading for right now. No matter when you watch it, it's for right now. Okay. The, if you're drawn to this video, that means there is a message for you. Okay. So I, like I said, I already pre-shuffled the card. They're right here. I'm going to let you know what they say. I'm going to tell you they're fabulous. <laughs> Everybody should get cards like this. <laughs> and of course, these are the energies that are around you. It is a general reading and it could pertain to you or, you know, the people around you, the energies that are around you. But, um, you know, and this could be something that's happening right now, something that just happened in the past and it's moving to the, to the future. But you put it, place it to where it fits with you. Okay. And of course, if you want a more personal reading, just let me know. We'll schedule it. Okay. So what I see here is that there is some kind of new and exciting opportunity. And it looks like it's, it could be about your career, you know, and it's time to change your life now. But you have to make, there's some kind of decision you have to make in order for this to move forward. But you, you gotta do it, like like now. Because it's the angel saying, stop procrastinating. If you need to do some research, go ahead and do some research. Stop procrastinating, stop putting it off, stop ignoring it because, the, or you no, know, decide that you wanna make changes in your career or life so that the opportunities do come in. Sometimes when we're like, oh, I don't know what I wanna do, and, but it's time to make a choice to either uh, let the universe know that God knows so the opportunities come or the opportunities may be coming in and you're not making the choice or decision. But you have to be organized and think logically, be structured and dis disciplined. It's time to take that leadership role in your life. It's time to do that. And when you do that, when you finally make this choice and this decision, okay, to do this, then it's, it's time for positive change situation suddenly moves forward and fortune is on your side the wheel card yeah then we have the page of earth here good news about money wanting to do something maybe a little bit more challenging or different you know getting learning something new this is going to bring money in this is what i'm saying Maybe do a little research of what you have to do. The sun card. <laughs> Ace of Earth. Money. This is all about money. Career of money. Making money here. <laughs> Happy outcome. Brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. It's time to move forward. Inflow of abundance. A promising business venture. It could be documents or contracts that you need to sign. You know, this is general because this might mean something for somebody and not somebody else. But the general meaning is that, you know, even if it's making a contract with yourself to move forward. But once you do this, then the events, things are going to move very, very quickly. Delays are over. A lot of things happening at one, once and you're going to be victorious. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> you are going to be victorious. There could be some memories or, or issues or things that are in your past that's affecting a lot of things in, in your life right now. And it could be, you know, uh, regarding children, your children, somebody else's children, maybe when you were a child or a sibling or or whatever whatever that is it pertains to you uh there will be if you, if you do what you know is right and come from a place of love things will work out very fairly because we have the justice card with that so things are going to work out in very fair decisions 
And if you come from a place of love and you do this from a place of love regarding your anything that's dealing with children or from your childhood uh, or anything from the past, uh, then you will, if you come from a place of love, you're going to be satisfied with the choices or what happens. If you're coming from a place of ego or negativity, and this is true with somebody else, they're coming, they might not like it, but the, the universe is stepping in and it's making it and justice will prevail with that. Anything from your past. Okay. All right. I shoved a few more cards here. Last card that came out is the first card I'm going to show you. It's the devil card. And so the devil card could mean someone who's a Capricorn. Um, I'm saying Capricorns are devils. No, this is, represents the Capricorn people, which are wonderful people. I adore Capricorns. <laughs> my father was a Capricorn. My son's a Capricorn. Tilly's a Capricorn. They're really, really good people. So not, not it's just, they're I guess, with the horns and all, with the goat, but... But the devil, so it's either a Capricorn person that you're dealing with, or someone has Capricorn in their sign or uh, rising sign or whatever, or this could mean someone who is very deceitful, manipulative, uh, controlling. And this could be you, could be somebody else. Um, this could be someone who's very self-destructive or destruction in, in other people, you know, have that devil energy there. But, uh, I don't see this as a problem, okay? Uh, I really don't see because I don't, with all the positive cards here, I don't see it as a problem. So this is why I brought up, it could be a Capricorn person that's involved here, uh, or Capricorn, maybe it's you, you know, that has Capricorn in, in your sign. But we do have the Knight of Swords here. Okay. And with this card, this is deals with someone who's very quick-minded and not serious. It could be the, the devil, too. <laughs> you know, who's impatient. You know, who's fast-moving. Like, whew! <laughs> you know? Um, but with strength and knowledge, it's going to bring better things. You know, it's time to be, when we have the emperor here, being organized and thinking logically and being structured and disciplined, taking that leadership role in your life, you know, uh, will bring better things. And yes, you are moving forward with the chariot. You're going to be victorious again. You're going to be, you know, it's fast moving, moving forward. You're going to be victorious in, in this. With several cards that said this. The Six of Pentacles is here. This is success. Look at him weighing, weighing his, <laughs> his money. <laughs> Material gains. Pay increase. More money coming in. So these confirmation cards, you know, they're, they're really confirming what's here. The four pentacles here. Someone is holding on tightly to their money or situate, holding on tightly to a situation or money because it's a general reading. Holding on tightly. See, he's holding on. You hold on too tightly to things. Your fists are, are closed. But when you open up, now your fists are open to receive. Okay. So... Don't be so concerned thinking that you're without, that you're holding on to things, you know. You can let go so you can receive. Because the high priestess is here. See that? And, and with this, this is mystery secrets coming out. And it will benefit you. Follow your intuition. Trust your instincts. Okay, so you can bring in more money. This looks like it's really, really good for my air signs and birth, birthday surprise for, the, for my Gemini brothers and sisters. That money is coming in, career changes, things like that. Uh, but you, you know, you have to stay excited and, and trust your intuition and take that leadership role in your life so you can go ahead and move forward. Okay. Thanks for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate your love and concerns in it and uh, your love and 
and support. <laughs> and of course, if you like the video, you like my energy, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I really do feel blessed and appreciate you doing that. Okay. I know that you're powerful when you're knowing when you have God, the ascended masters, the angels and archangels behind you. You're powerful. There's no stopping you. Let your love and peace fall down upon the earth. It is so much needed. You've got to be there in order to give it. And know that God blesses and loves you into life. So lots of kisses, loves, hugs from me to you. And of course, I wish every single one of you namaste. The light and love in me recognizes the light and love with you. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>